Game 3 of the current series. If you've not seen the preceding games, you should probably check them out first. Link in the description as well as in a button on the video. Alright, here we go into Game 3 between MMA and Feast here in the quarterfinals at IM Kiev. Feast will be our red Protoss, spawning over here in the 3 o'clock position on Metalopolis. MMA is our blue Terran over in the 9 o'clock position. Something I just noticed MMA does is he queues up his first SCB so fast that it's in production at the zero second on the replay. No, well, it seems to be working out decently for him. Like, I, I can't say with any authority that most people don't do that, but it's the first one I've noticed. Be interesting to see what happens this game. Both both games have been very decisive in, you know, first game Feast got an early economic lead and crushed MMA mid-game, and then MMA got an early economic lead the second game and crushed Feast mid-game. It was assisted by that drop going unopposed yeah. and basically being allowed to kill, I mean, very nearly kill Feast's main. Yeah, but a, a fairly strong supply lead and economic advantage early game resulting in just victory. Seen. Yep, Scout Probe moving out to close air positions where he will not find MMA. Now, nope, not saving the Chrono Boost, just continue to Chrono out the probes. It's about I about to say he was saving them. But he's not saving them, he's chronoing away on probes here. MMA First now Marine on sweat. Yep, MMA now scouting with that SCV once it finished the barracks. No wall here to stop the probe from getting in, but the Marine will be finished any moment. MMA up kill. building a barracks slightly off to the side of his base. Yeah, a Not quite hidden, but a this time. looks like the probe is going to find it. Yep, it and it does. Probably won't be making it out of here, though. See, yep. Oh, STV gets killed. Luckily, he doesn't have to get home to tell the tale. They just know it. Warp gate research starting. Well, I mean, yeah, they're they're probes. They got they got all kinds of Wi-Fi set up. They can. They can, you know, this isn't what this is. This is the Protoss. This isn't like you know, 1500s. Yeah. He doesn't have to send a telegram. He doesn't have to send a raven or something. Yeah, he, he got to tweet it out. Hashtag oh shit. Tech lab being added on that second barracks. Feast adding on an expansion. I think Feast is onto the pattern. The early expansion has been winning all these games. Let's see if it holds true. Concussive shells coming out first from that tech lab. Feast adding on two new gateways. The SCB and moving out. Some minerals and scouted returning back. Two extra gateways, about half and a third of the way done. Another gas coming down for Feast now. Feast targeting down the Menx statue. Hey, you know, down with Tyranny, I guess. But is Tyranny of Terrans? I'd have to think that in this matchup, Protoss might be okay with that. Maybe. I don't know, but it is a, it is a military stretch. I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely up on how that works out, but I would wonder, you know... In a war, maybe, you know, a more autocratic government might fare slightly better. I guess. Pushed by MMA arriving here. Got a decent number of Marines. Three SCVs here, probably gonna build some bunkers. Almost a bunker goes down at the expansion. Soccer's now pushing down the ramp. Force field cuts up the Marines. Finish off that soccer finally. Two new Marines and another Marauder showing up. Back and forth, up and down the ramp, another stalker goes down, more marines going down. 
Oh, probes come off the line and kill the SCV, the final SCV building that bunker. So we'll not get finished. Sentry goes down, but it was low on energy anyway. Meanwhile, proxy pylon going down outside of MMA's main. So MMA looking to expand. Getting rid of some of the rotters down here. Probes being pulled once again. And going back to mining. Bunker gets cancelled. Two new marines and a marauder just sort of joining the fight a little late. Yeah, they'll be cleaned up here before long. Two more stalkers getting warped in. Yeah, a little late to the party with those. But behind this MMA is expanding and throwing down a bunker outside his expansion. Which I like. He realizes that with the expansion up, he's going to be behind economically and knows that after that sort of pressure that he's a little bit vulnerable, so he drops a bunker to keep it safe. Well, it, it, the basic fallback plan, you know, in, in case that little push wasn't overly successful and able to produce you know, an extreme result, just use the pressure to expand behind it. Yep. Feast has four stalkers moving out across the map, warped in three at the proxy pylon. Probably another stalker and a zealot. Looks like he's gonna poke in, see if MMA has anything to defend. One bunker up and one goes building. The right away. There's only one SCV to repair it, and the bunker goes down. Two stalkers have died though. Down six stalkers. Yep. Two more warping in, so back to eight. We pushed up the ramp here at the Marines. The other bunker gets cancelled. Yep, looks like the SCV is barely oh. not allowed to complete. 99 out of 100. And getting targeted down. SCVs and Marines coming down to kill off the stalkers, force them away. Them uh, one of those SCVs needs to come poke this command center for half a second to finish building it. Got more stalkers getting warped in. The stalkers just simply dropping quickly out here. Four stalkers left standing. The low ones running back, avoiding death here. The stalkers are gonna hold for now. The SCV does off. come over and finish the command center. Command center lifts off to go back to the main, to the high ground. More stalkers warping it down here. MMA, now getting a starboard. Stalkers pushing up the ramp, getting repelled. More marauders out here, concussor shells. Four stalkers left. Bio's going back up the ramp. Back at home, Feast is adding on more gateways. We're sitting gateways. on two healthy mining bases. You well, know, so if, if nothing else, natural. if nothing else, his pressure has prevented that expansion from being up this entire time. She has to be at least a little happy about. Yeah, we're sitting on 46 probes to 26 SCVs, a substantial economic advantage to Feast. Though the overall supply is 62 to 55. Scout factory moving out with MMA's base now. MMA is now taking the center of gold with that orbital. Cleaning up the proxy <laughs> pylon. New one goes down next to the gold. Looks like this is going to get found. Center. He's not going to see the command center. He cancels it. And that yep, it gets cancelled. New one goes down. At the 12 o'clock position. Just like MMA is not aware of that. Up to 52 probes to 26 SCVs. Bioball stims in against this sentry stalker force. Cover zealous in those two. Fields get dropped. They both disengage. Oh, but that's a lot of stimmed units with only one medevac with not a lot of energy. New pylon going in where the old one used to be, just at the just above MMA's base. Feast finds out about the gold. Feast starting to take more commanding spy lead, 106 to 78. But MMA has this gold reasonably well saturated now. Yep. Bunker going down at the gold. The ramp here. Let's see if it gets Doctor finished. Drops in this armor here. Starts charging into commit. No, bunker gets decimated. SCVs get pulled. Couple force fields cutting this force up. 
Steel MMA holding well, despite all that. Another force He's warping a new, new wave of zealots from the pylon. V still leading 107 to 74 in supply. And the May expanding to his natural again. Most of his advantage continues to be in pro count versus a CB count, though. Armies are similar. Yep. And MMA has a scout factory watching for the third. Smaller fight happening here at the proxy pylon. Outside and mining at the natural. gold basically shut down by this pressure. SCV is pulled to repair the command center. Yeah, I've been poking back and forth. Stalker's now focusing on the command center. Command center going down under half health. Command center's now in the red. Another engage happening. Force fields dropping. Few mules dropping. But ultimately the Protoss forced to pull back. MMA is also clearing out the proxy pile on outside his natural. And his third at his natural. It's now about two-thirds of the way done. Adding another bunker here at the gold. And a new proxy pylon at the Zelnaga Tower. Soccer's pushing forward again. A couple force fields go down. Bio back. Catches a medevac that could run too far forward. Yep, medevac's out. Going over the force fields and... Leaving the bio behind, unfortunately. Feast supply leads growing again, though. 131 to 87. Yeah. He's going to have to make a count, though, before MMA Another gets his third up and running. Goes down. And before his own main gets mined out. Start stepping the stars above. Guardian shield goes up, pushing in farther again. Once again, pushed back by the bio ball. Now they're pushing up the ramp again. A couple more stalkers warping in. Some zealots also warping in. Once again, pushing into the gold now. And once again, pulling back. 111 to 84 now. Killing the mink statue. Only two left, I think. Now pushing around to push in from a, from a different ramp away from the bunker. Oh, and Feast does add on his third. Yep, third going down, now in the southeast. Guardian shield goes up, they push up the ramp towards the gold again. Another bunker being added. That gets stopped right away. Yep. Now pushing in towards the command center again. Orbital command lifts off. Stalkers are focusing it. It goes down. But this Protoss force is now surrounded somewhat. Using force fields. Largely by SCVs, though. Yeah, but they're no longer surrounded. More shields come up. Still being a bit outgunned. New wave of soccer zealot. And feast GG. Feast. Yeah, GGing out. He, he had lost his economic advantage. He'd lost his army advantage because the his engages were not going well for him. Yep, he'd mined out his main and had not been able to shut down the gold in time. And at the end here, by the way, MMA throwing down some manor scans all over Feast's base. So Feast may have lost that, but he's definitely making a strong showing here, putting up stiff resistance to MMA, even if this may be MMA's weaker matchup, you know, against Protoss. And uh, I look forward to seeing what he manages to do with the rest of the series. Yep. Now, we've both been avoiding it, but there is one significant factor that played a huge role in how that game ended up playing out. I'm trying to think of a way to tiptoe around this and not make a balanced statement, but there, there's really... that's a hopeless cause. GOM removed minerals, uh, gold minerals, from their maps, and this game is evidence for why that decision was made. Feast was up a base for most of the game, and the worker count was hovering around 50 to 25 for much of the height of the game there. And yet, MMA was able to maintain enough economy to support his admittedly superior engagements and take it. And that, it's hard to say that was balanced racially.